What up guys and girls, today we're going to be looking at a projector, specifically the LC350 digital projector. Now we're going to split this video down into three parts. We're going to do the unboxing on this video, then we're going to show you exactly actually how to use it, and then I'm going to show you loads of test footage. We're going to go from sports, we're going to go from like special effects, we're going to go you know, we're going to cover everything that I know that you will want to see, to see exactly how this projector performs in a real world environment. So first of all, let's open up and see what we get with the LC350 digital projector. So first of all, you can see it's in a nice carrying case, which makes it super portable. And that's it. Nice padded, well made and easy to carry. Do, do, do. Here we have the projector. There we have some instructions. Here we have a uh, quite a nice length HDMI cable. You also have obviously the power lead. This is available in different countries as well. So if you do order it from overseas, you will get the two pin plug as well. And you also get the audio inputs if you wanted some form of external audio. There is your plugs ready to go. And here we have the projector itself. As you can see, it's not very big at all, is it? And there we go, roughly it's about the size of my hand. That's it, it's a super portable, super lightweight. You also do get a remote control, batteries not included, but we may have seen these remote controls before on other and similar devices. But this is gonna give you the ease of use to control everything. So here you have all the buttons for the menus, the tilting of the lens and the focus, and then pretty much everything else can be done just via this remote as well. So we think of this as your enter button. We have an up, down, left and right, and actually a home button right here. These three buttons going from the bottom to the top is your power button, your menu button, and your back button as well. So like I say, all of this can actually be done just by using a remote control, but it's simply up to you. If you have this wall mounted or ceiling mounted, then you're gonna to want to use this. And all functionality of this is exactly the same as this as well, but this gives you actually a bit more functionality as well. As long as once it's ceiling mounted, you have the focus and the actual angle of the screen correct, you are good to go and the remote control can actually just be used 100% of the time. So if we have a look on the side of the projector, you've got numerous ports to enable media import into this projector. So on the left hand side, you have the actual SD card slot, then you have USB slot, so that can be hooked up to an external drive. You have the HDMI, so we're going to show you it being plugged into my Mac and then actually running my screen of my Mac through this as well. You have the audio visual port and you also have the headphone port as well if you're uh, sitting nice and close and want to wear your headphones. Now on the bottom here, if it is table mounted, you got these plastic little rubber feet so it's not gonna scratch anything. And you also have these vents here, so good dissipation of air because potentially elements from within this projector could obviously heat up and it, the heat will just come out through these vents. And obviously on the right hand side of the projector, you're gonna get your power input as well. So you do actually have speakers on this device if you are casting it over Wi-Fi to the projector itself. But other than that, you're actually gonna be getting the sound coming directly from whatever device you've inputted into it. Or obviously if you have the audio and visual sound set up via an external means. Now this LC350, is 80% brighter, it's three and a half thousand lumens. It's 70% brighter than all projectors out there. So it's gonna bring you a superior home cinema experience. Now, like I said, there is ceiling installation, so the 350 projector can be mounted to your ceiling and also compatible with an external tripod. So you can do whatever you want with it. So if it just needs raising off the ground just a little bit, you can either go for the tripod, or obviously on the ceiling as well, ceiling connectors. So like I was just saying, it does have a built-in dual audio speaker, which does provide super loud and clear acoustic effect. And it does support wireless connectivity with Wi-Fi cast and also via a dongle as well. But how big can this projector go? Well, if you do it super close, it's gonna give you around 34 inch TV screen equivalent, but it will also go up to 180 inch. So you want it between three and 12 foot away from the actual either wall or projector screen to give you the best experience. Now, we'll see in a moment, but what this first ring does, that is gonna give you the focus. 
And then what this second ring does, that is going to actually alter the actual viewing angle of the screen as well, demonstrated by one times spade hand. So numerous connections, HDMI, you can do that HDMI to lightning. So you're going to get your iPhone, your iPad on there. You can connect to your Android phones, but you are going to need an HDMI to MHL cable. Okay. And you can connect with MacBook, um, which we're going to show you in a mo, and that's going to be via uh, USB to HDMI as well. So now we've had a look at this, we're going to go into some actual footage uh, itself. Now, if you do follow me over on Twitter at CSS Cody, you would have seen some footage the other day from this bad boy. Okay, so, but I'm going to show you through some sports, through some effects, and see and show you exactly what you're going to get. Now, all links for this are going to be down in the description below as standard. And if you do find this video useful, please do not forget to share, subscribe, like and all that good stuff because it really helps us grow this channel so let's go and have a look at some of the features once you have some media inputted via the numerous media inputs on the lc350 projector right so now we've got this running what i'm going to do is just uh, go into the source menu so this is all using the remote control and i'm just going to switch over to hdmi and then here you will see, basically this now is just mirroring what is on my iMac. So I'm gonna go over to my iMac and then I'm gonna just scroll all around and you can see everything on there. And you know, we have a, a nice little download section if you wanted to go and visit it. Now, if it does bounce in and out of focus, that is just actually my camera trying to actually grab some kind of focus. But what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go onto YouTube and we're also gonna watch some football. We're gonna see some like different funky things that we can get out of this projector just so you can see the range of the colors, the range of the contrast and everything like that. What you would expect from a much more expensive projector than we've got here. So there was actually a guy on YouTube that does like projector little effects and everything to play through. So here you can just see some like different fun bulb effects which you can actually project onto your wall or the side of your house or what ever you want to which are you know is pretty cool so kudos to that man so his channel is free footage paradise we can have some green screen effects but what we're going to do we're going to go over and as you can see what i'm typing at the moment we're going to go for football highlights so let's go for this Now remember you can change everything on here, the actual way that the screen is looking. You can do the focus if you've slightly lost focus, which we have a little bit there. So there we go. That is looking much sharper now. Let's put it on full screen so you can really see how good this projector is. There we go. You can see the fantastic color, the saturation, how bright it is as well. Or nearly a nice car by Wolves. I'm not even a football supporter. So what we do now, we will just try something else just so you can see the actual quality that you're gonna get. Let's go for a bit of gaming highlights as well. Okay, don't actually really what this, this is like funny fails of games via, oh my God, games. Now you can also go into the menu settings and customize your experience even further. If you wanted things a bit brighter, a bit darker, the saturation higher or lower, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So if we go into the menu now, you can see that we have picture mode user and that's my current picture mode. I can go into there and then change all the contrast, the brightness, the color and the sharpness as well. But I can just like go over and choose a vivid one, a standard one and also a soft one as well. You can hopefully see on the screen the colors changing as we do that as well. So if we go back, we can see the color temperature is medium. You can put it on warm. And once again, you can put it on user or cool. We have the aspect ratio. So you can change things in here as well. I would just personally leave it as auto, but you can do it on 4.3. So it may get a little bit sharper. A 16.9, your standard like movie mode. Your zoom one as well. So you can see we still actually got such great sharpness. Um, actually when we're zooming in on zoom one and zoom two, or you can just leave it as just scan, which is pretty much auto as well. 
So we're just going to leave it on auto, we're going to come back out. So you also have screen, flip right, left, up and down. And what this is for, if it's wall mounted, obviously your projector is going to be upside down. So you need to actually turn the screen and flip it again, okay? So you can just go up, down, left or right, depending how actually you have your projector mounted. So this was the LC350. I'm very impressed with this, okay? Very, very impressed. Now you also have the varying sound modes in here as well. So you have for sports, you have user, if you want to change everything again, standard music and movie as well. You have the balance from left to right. You have the auto volume and surround sound as well. And then back to the picture. So picture, options, time, sound, and back to picture. So all in all, I'm super impressed with this. What we would just do, just try one more thing. Let's do some. Now we are all a big fan of the UFC. I have no idea what The Rock is doing there. I have no idea. This is meant to be UFC, but there we go. So screen size at the moment, I have it around four and a half foot away. So we're gonna get a good 60 inch size screen. What I'm gonna do is just go over and stand actually next to the screen so you can see how big it is. So it's a decent size. Obviously the further you move it back, the bigger the screen's gonna be, but you're not gonna lose any of that detail either. So that was the LC350. Link is gonna be down in the description below. I'm well impressed by it. Let me know your thoughts. Do you have a projector? Do you want a projector? Are you gonna get this projector? And are you gonna like, subscribe, and share to this channel? Because I will absolutely love you forever. So the LC350, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.